growing Colorado, we see the gentrification battle happening almost every day with more people moving to our state. Longtime residents living in historic neighborhoods feel forced out to make room. Denver 7's Micah Smith is live this morning. And Micah, you have some signs to look out for that might be a sign that your neighbor is neighborhood is being gentrified. Molly, the ongoing joke about gentrification has been when you start to see more coffee shops, new condos, a few more breweries or designer dogs walking down your street, your neighborhood has been gentrified. But in all seriousness, gentrification can push long term residents out of their homes. And we saw that happen right here in Five Points. In an effort to make sure that doesn't happen to residents of yet another historic neighborhood in Denver, researchers at CU Denver have come up with a new model to predict when and where gentrification will happen so that city leaders can soften the impact. The first factor in this model is policy, which includes zoning ordinances allowing developers to demolish single family homes and build multifamily housing. Place includes proximity to green spaces, bike lanes and downtown and people. Researchers look at the racial makeup of a neighborhood as well as individual presence preference. Using the model, researchers predict the next area to gentrify are the neighborhoods along RTD's west line. That's the gulch toward Lakewood. But the study suggests there are a few things community leaders can do to protect long-term residents. We know that an increase of permanently um, subsidized affordable housing stock helps that um, uh, bolstering community groups that can help to organize in the neighborhood and find out what people's needs are. CU Denver Assistant Professor Carrie McCarowitz also suggests city leaders should raise the minimum wage and make sure that city and county services do not leave neighborhoods so that gentrification is a more positive experience for everyone, not just newcomers. Live in Five Points, Micah Smith, Denver 7.